All right, Brad here. We're back at SeaWorld San Diego for more of the uh, Seven Seas Food and Wine Festival. I've only got a few punch cards left. I'm gonna get another one. I'm not sure how much to put on it though. Something else to note. It's been a uh, very, very busy looking day. The parking lot's entirely full. I mean, I'm coming pretty late. It's 3 p.m. in the afternoon, so it's hard to find parking. But let's see what's going on today. This will probably be a short trip. But uh, let's have fun. Turn the eel. If you come four times, March through May, for past members only. I'm not really sure what the eel is. It's probably like a special pen or something. I mean, that'd be really neat if it was. So, kind of excited to find out what that is. It's always good to see they're doing new things around here like that. A little strange you have all these gates, but just this one open to come in. It is a Saturday after all, they should probably have more open. Something else I never noticed, they have a lot of extra experiences to upgrade your day. So they got all day dining things, uh, dine with orcas, which still seems like it'd be fun to do, and dolphin interactions, various other things as well. Let's see what they've got. Right here they got some pretty extreme sound effects over there. So let's go see if the Ocean Explorer is open. According to the internet, the, uh, it should be open. So that'll be exciting if it actually is. But who knows what that wait's gonna be. Now, so it looks like it's still closed. I do not know what is going on with this thing because uh, the attraction closer sign in the park says nothing's closed today. And online it said even this was, you know, there's no, nothing closed or planned maintenance or any of that. You can even see they got it boarded up back there. That's really strange. I'm wondering what's going on over here. I mean, it opened and it wasn't open very long because they must be doing something major. Maybe there was an issue with it. Or I can't say for certain. Or cafe. I've actually eaten here before. I think it was the first video I did here. Um, I got like the holiday turkey pie thing. But today, uh, I didn't really care for it actually. This is probably my least favorite restaurant I've had so far at SeaWorld. But they got some fish tacos and I'll give it another chance. Because uh, some of the other things looked alright, even though they looked very basic. So let's check it out. Alright, so I want the fish taco. And this thing is not what I expected. It's massive. Um, the whole thing is like in a tortilla. And it's a huge piece of fish. It looks better than I thought it would. But I'll take a, you know, dig in here. And uh, let you know how it is. It looks like there's actually fries in the bottom. Yeah, there's fries in it too. So this will be interesting. Still no uh, update on the electric eel. It has an official opening day. It's uh, May 12th, I believe. So I think they're done. There's no other track than this. So that's kind of uh, a little, little disappointing. But, you know, I'm not going to judge the ride before going on it. I did think it'd be a lot longer, though, to go around the park more. But, you know, we'll, we'll see if it's uh, worth it. I mean, it says it's a triple launch coaster. And it goes, like, a little over 60 miles an hour. So I'm not going to lose all hope yet, but we'll see how it is when it opens uh, next month. It looks like there's a Pets Rule Show, which is in this uh, amphitheater here. I've never even been in the amphitheater, let alone seen the show. Uh, I'll probably check it out another day, but something else new that I've yet to do. This is the one, one of the ones I was wanting to get last time, the grilled lamb slider. But there was a long line. Looks like there's one today as well, so. Got little sitting areas out here. Debating whether or not I'll get it right now, considering I just ate that massive fish taco. They also have a really nice seating area over here by Tucson Flavors. Bit of a shorter line here, but personally I didn't see anything I'd really liked on their menu. I kind of forgot what was on it. Let's go take a look. I don't even know what potato ravioli is. Huh. Stuff that could be good, but I'm not real I'm not willing to spend a, a punch card on it. Another show I've yet to see is the um, sea lion show. I've seen the dolphin one before. That one's pretty good, but sea lion show. Put it on the list of things to do. This looks like it might actually be kind of fun. And there's the view of Mission Bay. 
So I've never actually paid attention to the wait time sign for this ride, but it says it's 45 minutes right now, which is ridiculous considering it's just a spinning little top thing. Wow. And again, right around the corner, you have this area where you can just see you got some people out there fishing out in the boats. It's right here in the park. Kind of reminds me of Legoland in Florida, how it's like a park mixed in with a theme park. I managed to find another historical location here. So they used to have a water show, kind of something like World of Color. And it looks like it was in this building back here, which now does 4D shows. Yep, a lovely sound. Bingo's going crazy. There's Manta. I don't even want to know what the weight is on that thing, but out of curiosity, I think we'll go check it out and see what it is. I am surprised to see, oh, never mind. I was gonna say a lone bird, but now there's two. We got plenty of food there to eat. It's gonna be fat birds. You always see fat birds in theme parks. Is it just me or do you see a hidden Mickey's hiding in here? Is there something SeaWorld's not telling us? Wow, they got some pretty big rays in here. A lot of them hanging out just right down there. And everyone over here around the edges trying to pet them. Let's see what kind of pins they got. I always thought this was neat, the sand base they have for a lot of these decorative items. Just sitting in a pile of sand. Bunch of toys. Looks like we got some pins here, special editions. And series. Alright, so uh, just checked out in the store and actually ended up getting two of the pins. They are uh, the special edition ones, you know that because they'll say it here on the bottom. So one of them is a past member for a season pass, which I thought was kind of weird because they didn't ask you if you had a season pass to get it. Like, there was no requirement to have a season pass to be able to buy them, so anyone can get them, which is a little strange. Um, but other than that, the special edition ones are $10, but most of the others were like 7 6 so they're about the same price as you'd see at Disney. Um, I already have a lanyard. I'm just going to use the food and wine one, clip them on, and I'll kind of keep you all updated with what's new on those as well. Busy day, but somehow over here, it is completely quiet. Seems like every theme park has those few areas where you can just walk by and it's completely empty. So it's nice to know that they have one of those here as well. Speaking of which, sushi, huh? That's got to be new. Sake, sushi. That'd be worth trying someday. Oh, it's actually part of the uh, Seven Seas Food and Wine. I wasn't aware of that. And I think I might try the uh, crispy kale and portobello. It does look interesting. Crispy kale and portobello. It's almost like a sushi roll with uh, not really wrapped up. It's kind of sticking out of a cup. All right, that's gonna do it for SeaWorld San Diego today. Short visit, didn't even go on any rides, but still a good uh, day nonetheless. Only got one thing from Seven Seas Food and Wine, so I still have one uh, punch card left. I do plan on getting another. Um, fish was good. I got some pretty cool new pins, so I'll see about maybe getting more in the future as well. Um, but yeah, that's, that's really it for this time. Uh, maybe next time I'll actually get some beer and wine. You know, like, that, that's half of the whole event. I haven't even gotten any of that yet, so we'll see about doing it. But uh, that's it for today, so see you all next time. Thanks for watching.